Figure drawing is a challenging subject, not only because the figure is very hard to draw, but it's not always easy to practice unless we have access to a live model or a large library of reference images. However, there are a range of figure posing apps available that can help us in this regard. So over the next few videos, we're going to cover a number of these apps, see what they have to offer and figure out which works best for our purpose. And the first app we're going to look at is called Easy Pose. This app is chock full of different model types and a variety of props that allows us to create the exact scene layout that we have in our minds. The app is mainly geared towards anime and manga style artists, but there's also a selection of models that will suit Western comic book artists, fantasy illustrators, as well as a few models for more academic drawings also. The free version has enough to get you going, but the pro upgrade and DLC package is where most of the good models are. Here you'll find a series of anime models of differing proportions. There's a selection of standard models alongside shorter models and cheapy figures. There's also male and female superheroes and even a more oversized figure with Hulk-like proportions. So a whole range of figures to play around with. There's also a large selection of props available ranging from basic shapes and forms to weapons, musical instruments and even vehicles. The puppeteering controls are pretty straightforward. Simply tap on the body part that you want to adjust and then use the access guides to move that part into the desired position. If you're looking for more subtler adjustments then the sliding controls are perfect for those incremental changes. If you're not 100% sure about the pose you want, there are two options available. First is the presets, which is a large library of both casual and action poses. Not all of the poses fit perfectly for each model, so there may still be some additional adjustments required. The other option is the animation presets, which allows you to cycle through some animated clips to find the desired pose. There's not a huge library of animation here, but it's a useful option nonetheless. In terms of customization for the models, you can change the position of the eyes and also alter the hairstyle and add in head props. You can also make the size of the head, hands and feet bigger or smaller and also give characters footwear as well as add in numerous props for the hands. There are some color options available for the skin, hair and props, but it's limited to the color palette within the app. Once happy with our pose and customization, we can then save the scene into our database to reload at a later date. Alongside single characters, we've also got the ability to create model groups. We've got the option to use the library of presets available or create our own group. To do this, we simply assign our figures and props into a new empty group, which will then allow us to scale, rotate, and move these objects in unison. Once our group is adjusted to our liking, we can save it to our database for future use. On top of the base models, the DLC expansion packs gives us a new range of figures to control including costumed characters, armoured figures, animals and even specific fantasy characters. The basic controls are more or less the same, although some of the fantasy models have much less colour customization. The animal models are not too difficult to pose, although you may need to look up some photo references to get an accurate idea of how to pose them. For lighting and camera controls, there are two sources of light available, a directional light and a backlight. There are also controls for the camera's field of view, as well as an option for a fish-eyed lens look. Once our scene is finished, we can export it as an image with or without the background. So what are the drawbacks for Easy Pose? Well, the biggest drawback is simply that all of the good content is in the Pro Upgrade and DLC package. If you're not 100% concerned with all the bells and whistles, then the free version can probably get you by. The upgrades aren't super expensive though, and you are getting a lot of value for your money, so it's not going to be a wasted investment if you make the purchase. The other major drawback is the app's interface. There's a lot of icons on the screen and sometimes they really get in the way of moving the model around and there's no ability to hide the interface. This makes the app a little bit tricky to navigate and remember where certain tools are. So you may have to spend a little bit of time learning how to work with these issues, but if you can overcome those obstacles, and in particular, if you're an anime or manga artist looking for a well-rounded reference app, then Easy Pose is a very good place to start. It's got a lot of models and options to play with. It's easy to use and is available on Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android.